Real quick before we dive into the character thing, I'm not going to cover the absolute basics of C Sharp. If you don't know what a variable is or how to define one, you might want to go look that up. Otherwise, the code walkthroughs might be a little bit confusing. If that's the sort of stuff you would like to see, chuck a comment down below and I'll try and make one at some point in the future. The other really important thing is if you were to go off into the world and look up like go first person tutorial, you would find an FPS tutorial. This is the official Godot Docs 3D FPS tutorial. You can probably search in here as well, but it was the top Google result. Look at that. Apparently I skipped a couple of parts, which is interesting. But this thing goes through creating a game that looks much prettier than mine. It gives you a bunch of assets. It lets you run around and shoot and stab things, which side note, I'm not covering shooting and stabbing things in my tutorial. So, you know, this might be a better place. It is a text tutorial and I get that they're different to videos and so it's useful to go through both. But they give you a bunch of assets and everything's awesome. They do a great job of explaining and setting stuff up. They will walk you through in both GD script if you're familiar with it and C sharp. Some of the later tutorials don't do the C sharp side. They only have a uh, GD script, but it's trivial to translate between GD script and C sharp. I would recommend going through in C sharp because obviously that's what my tutorial is going to do. So you'll be able to use it all. Their setup for a player is a wee bit different to ours. My setup is basically stealing all of this and running with it. Just the first part, basically. Go read this. Work your way through all of part one. It'll teach you the basics of how all of the movement stuff works. They have little things like this. Go read these as well. You'll get to learn a bunch and then I don't have to try and explain it because I'm not the best at this. And they have little pictures that help explain what on earth is going on when you try and move. With that covered off, go go have fun once you've read through that tutorial section come on back and we'll go through what i've done differently or the same and we'll carry on from there